How low potassium can mimic high blood pressure? Not every high blood pressure is what it seems. Sometimes, the numbers on the cuff aren't a lifelong sentence. They're a mineral problem in disguise. Your body runs on electrical balance. Potassium and sodium are the two main players in that balance. Sodium helps your body hold fluid and conduct nerve signals. Potassium helps your body release excess fluid, relax blood vessels, and keep heart rhythm steady. When potassium is too low, sodium dominates the field. Your blood vessels tighten, fluid retention rises, your heart has to push harder, and the blood pressure monitor says it's high. Here's the dangerous part. You get labeled hypertensive. You start medication that doesn't address the real cause. The underlying deficiency keeps damaging your heart, kidneys, and nerves. And you never hear the words. This might be low potassium. So let me ask you this. When was the last time anyone checked your potassium level before starting blood pressure drugs? When was the last time you looked at your diet to see if you were even getting enough? Low potassium can happen from living on processed food and skipping fresh produce, overuse of certain diuretics or laxatives, chronic stress, which increases loss through urine, high salt intake without balancing it out, constant caffeine use, the symptoms, weakness or fatigue, muscle cramps, palpitations, brain fog, blood pressure that mysteriously spikes under stress. This is why so many people end up on pills for years without realizing the root cause was never fixed. The fix is not just eat bananas. It's about building a diet that supports your potassium needs daily while balancing other minerals because dumping one mineral in without fixing the rest can make things worse. Until then, you're treating the symptom, not the imbalance. An imbalance is what kills slowly. Don't forget to subscribe to Herbs of the Field.